Holy shit, for $50, this is so nice. Have I ever thought about getting married? Let's say maybe. I know that if I did get married, it probably wouldn't be traditional. I am just a hopeless romantic. Since I can remember, I have been thinking about my wedding. Funny enough, I was actually supposed to get married this Halloween, but in light of the pandemic, we had to postpone to next year. My partner right now, I absolutely love him. We've talked about it and we don't know. So I'm currently in a relationship. It's decently new, but it is progressing quite quickly. I am quite in love. I've never tried on a wedding dress before, but I have thought about it and I've always wanted to wear a red lingo because that is one of the traditional outfits in my culture. But I have always thought about trying on a white wedding dress as well, just for fun. I've never tried on a wedding dress. If I had to think about it in terms of the style of wedding dress, I think it would really depend on what type of wedding it was. I think I want something kind of like lay, simple, sleek. I really like an open back. I'm not exactly sure what to expect out of these wedding dresses. I mean, the reviews on these dresses were really good. If you're plus size, one dress could fit you in one size and then you're a different dress size like four times. Being under $50, I am excited, nervous. If we can actually find a good quality dress under $50, I will be floored. So we've each got two wedding dresses to try on. We're gonna see what they look like in real life and figure out whether or not they exceed our expectations of what an under $50 wedding dress should look like. Oh my God, wait. It's kind of cute. We have this like lace detail on the front, the back, almost an open back. I'm a little bit concerned because it might be kind of see-through. Since the back is like this, I would assume you're not supposed to wear a bra with it. It feels okay. Like it doesn't feel like it's gonna be itchy or anything. It doesn't feel like the most high quality fabric in the entire world, but it's not bad. <laughs> Honestly, this is a beautiful dress. I can't believe this is under $50. She's so flowy. I love this lace. It feels very strong, very secure. It doesn't feel like it's gonna catch on anything and snap. I also like this high neck because I like to dance and you know, that will keep it a little bit more modest. The only downside to this dress is that there's a lot of rustling. When you're trying to focus on your big date, I feel like this could get really irritating. This is what it looks like. Some of it said it was like a little see-through. The outside fabric feels a little, a little cheaper. Let's see if these hold these up. Uh. <laughs> also, this one was really weird. I usually wear like a 1820 and this one per measurement said I was like more of a 26. Again, never the same, so ugh. This one actually feels really good quality. Oh no, that's a lace up for the back. This is just a lace for the back. Okay, we're gonna have to call in some assistance for that one. This top is really structured, kind of like, I don't know, like prom dresses kind of thing. It has like padding and wiring. Definitely a lot more coverage than the first one. A pretty decent sized tool at the bottom. She's got volume. <laughs> I mean, this dress is gorgeous. I love this all over lace. It's very soft. Doesn't feel like it's gonna be scratchy on your skin or anything like that. Honestly, I'm super excited about this dress because it's a mermaid dress. All the reviews with photos, the girls looked beautiful in this dress. I mean, it's stretchy, but it's not as forgiving as maybe a flowier dress would be. This does not have cups. I've never really done a dress with cap sleeves. I'm gonna be honest, I don't super like, ladies, you know, you know what I'm talking about. But I'm getting over that because we're all beautiful. And if this year has taught us anything, it, right? I mean, ooh, it. can I say that? It. Whatever. I'm wearing a nude bra, so the back is definitely losing a little bit there, but it's not bad. It's pretty comfortable. The fit is honestly really good. I had to wear shorts underneath, so that's not super cute, but it was just too see-through to not. This material is super soft. The lace part isn't itchy. So for fit, I would probably give it a five out of five. Style, however, like it's definitely not ugly and it does kind of mirror the type of dress I would want, just like done in a little bit of a cheaper way, I guess. So for style, I would give it like three and a half. First dance vibes. It's comfortable and it's practical and it's fine, honestly, for practicality, five. For $50, you definitely don't get like the most extravagant dress, but 
it does pretty well for 50 bucks. Let's talk about the fit. Now, I feel like from the waist down, she fits perfectly, but up top, she's a little bit more snug. Maybe this is because I'm slightly larger chested. So I would give this a 3.5 out of five for fit. This style on me, honestly, I feel like it's like my sweet 16th birthday. It's just me though. I just personally don't prefer this style on me. Although setting that aside, this is a very beautiful dress. So I'm gonna give this dress 3.5 out of five for style. Now for some practical moves. I'm dancing at my wedding. <laughs> I better be able to bounce around on the dance floor and not feel like this dress is gonna be at risk for falling off. It is definitely not doing that. This whole part though is kind of tight for me and right around my arms here, like when I move them up and down, feels like it's kind of cutting into me a little bit. For practicality, I'm gonna give this a 4.5 out of five because it is marvelous for under $50. The cups are a little weird, but I'm not wearing a bra right now. It was a bustier girl. I don't hate it. It's a little loose, so probably have to get it taken in a little bit. But in terms of the sizing, this is the one I had to get like a 26 in and I usually wear a 20, so it does run small. I like the fit of it more than I thought I was going to. Okay, it does bunch because of the fabric. In terms of fit, I'd probably go like a four. In terms of style, I mean, it's nothing special, but it's not ugly. I think that I'm somewhere in between, so I'd go like a three or four. And in terms of practicality, the boobs are where I have a problem. I don't think I can lean over right now, because I'd go like a three. I look pretty damn good. <laughs> I need you to like lace this entire back. Okay, hold on, let me just pull my nose up. That one was a lot more effort to put on, but wow. I would say this probably matches when I was younger, like the more princessy dress, but holy for $50, this is so nice. It fits me flawlessly. And I think with this on the back, I feel like there's probably a pretty big give and take in terms of sizing. So pretty good bet. It is very comfortable. It's not itchy at all. I know I keep going like this, but it's cause it feels so so secure. For fit, I would give it a five out of five. For my personal style, I would give it like a 4.5 out of five. Practicality, she spins. It doesn't feel like the top's gonna fall down at all. For practicality, this is also a five out of five. Honestly, she fits perfectly and is very comfortable. Nothing feels off about it. The lace isn't scratchy. It's very soft. It's very wearable and it's very light. And even though it's fitted, you don't feel like you're suffocating just because of the way the fabric is. Fit is a five out of five for me. In terms of style, I do love this whole mermaid look. Cinching at the waist and like fitting your curves. I guess I'll give it a four and a half just cause I feel like we could have tapered in at the waist a bit more. We know I'm gonna dance, so we've gotta do some practical moves. This is another one where I don't feel like it's gonna fall off. It's very movable. You can squat, but you gotta be careful. Right here, it's a little bit see-through. I will give it a 4.5 out of five. I also did notice as I jumped around, like these little guys kind of flopped here and there, knocks down that star halfway, but honestly, it's not that big of a deal. It's not it for me. And I don't know if you can see this. I was worried about the mermaid-esque look. I finally found a bra-ish that might work. I'm gonna be real honest, it's completely see-through. The material itself, feels better than the first one. This runs a little small. So in terms of fit, I would give this a zero. It does have nice, cute features. I think the V-neck is very cute. I think this is actually pretty attractive for the collarbone area. In terms of practicality, it is a little hard to do your arms. If you're a bigger boobed girl, you might fall out. I do not feel my prettiest in this dress, which means I would not wear it if I was to get married. I was so pleasantly surprised by this. The dresses were a lot better than I thought, especially the second one. If you can get this for $50, I'm sure you can get some really nice stuff for a reasonable price. Buying a wedding dress online can be really scary. However, under $50, these dresses are both a steal.